Before the advent of personal scientific calculators, slide rules were ubiquitous in physics classes. Demonstration rules like these could be found in practically every introductory physics classroom in high school and college. In fact, the first week of physics was usually devoted to learning how to use the slide rule. Now, slide rules seem to come in many different shapes and sizes. There were cylindrical slide rules. There were round slide rules. There were linear slide rules. <clears throat> many of them were made for specific purposes. Uh, Gas stations used to sell or used to give away as a promotion small slide rules so you could calculate your gas mileage. A drug company gave away this slide rule so the obstetrician could calculate due dates. Here's a calculator especially designed for the binomial distribution in statistics. Now, <clears throat> all logarithms are based on, or all slide rules are based on a logarithmic scale. A logarithmic scales were first uh, invented by Napier in 1614, and by 10 years there were calculation devices. We can understand a logarithmic scale pretty easily. If we start here at zero, and this represents one. Now, <clears throat> if you've ever worked with logarithms, you know that the logarithm of one is equal to zero. So right here at the beginning, we will mark that as one. And the logarithm of 10 is equal to one, so we will mark that at this end of the slide rule. I'm just going to use a one as you will understand later. The logarithm of two is about 0.3. The logarithm of three is just a hair less than one half. The logarithm of four would be about 0.6, so that would be about right here. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight would be right here. Nine would be about right here. Aha. Now because the values get very close together up here at the higher numbers, longer slide rules made working a little bit more precise. The, the common slide rule was about 10 inches in length, but the common rules varied from about 5 inches like the slide rule they took to the moon, to about 20 inches. Anything longer than this would be kind of cumbersome. Anything smaller than this would probably be too small. Now, to get more precision, they could make longer slide rules. They made slide rules uh, 500 inches long cut that scale into shorter units about two feet long and then put them all together. Okay? Or they would take the scale and wrap it in a helix around a cylinder or they would take a circle and wrap the scale into a spiral. While these could give more precision, up to five significant figures, they were much harder to use and took a much longer time. So rules in this area, or in this length,
were the most common.